now moving to the second example which says an aircraft took three hours to fly from p to q at p at 65 degrees north and 45 degrees west to q at 65 degrees north and 15 degrees west the aircraft then changed its course and seven hours after leaving q arrived at r to be at zero degrees and 15 degrees west the flight from p to q was along the parallel of latitude and from q to r was along the meridian of longitude longitude calculate corrects to three significant figures first the total length of the journey and the average speed of the aircraft so here we have both the parallel of latitude and the meridian of longitude at point p at point q and at point r so we have the first one to be the total length of the journey so the total length of the journey will be 45 degrees minus 15 degrees times 2 by r cos theta since you have it to be 65 degrees at point n so the total length of the journey we have the angular difference is 45 minus 15 which is 30 degrees 45 minus 15 which is 30 degrees and we have it to be 30 over 360 times 40,000 times cos 65 degrees so here we have 0 0 we have 3 year 1 we have 3 year we have 12 we have 2 year 6 we have 2 year we have 20,000 we have 2 year 3 we have 2 year to be 10,000 so we have 10,000 times cos 65 over 3 we have it to be 1,416 kilometers. We have it to be 1,416 kilometers. And now to find the angular difference between Q and R, because we need to find the total length of the journey. So that one is between P and Q. Now, between Q and R, we have it to be at 65 degrees. So we have it to be 65 over 360 times 2 pi R. 65 over 360 times 2 pi R. So we have it to be 65 over 360 times 40,000. And for this, using our calculator, we have it to be 7262 kilometers. Using our calculator, we have it to be 7262 kilometers. We have it to be 7262 kilometers. Now, the total length of the journey. The total length of the journey is now 1416 plus 7262. We have it to be 1. And adding this together, we have it to be 8678. We have eight, we have seven, we have six, and we have eight. So we have it to be eight, six, seven, eight kilometers. So to three significant law, we can have it to be eight, six, eight, zero kilometers. We have it to be eight, six, eight, zero kilometers. Now the second one says find the average speed of the aircraft. And the average speed of the aircraft will now be the total journey over the total time. The total journey over the total time. Now, our total time for the first one is 3 hours. 
and the time for the second one is seven hours so our total time is now 10 hours so we have it to be 8680 divided by 10 which is the average speed which is the average speed of the aircraft so the average speed of the aircraft is 868 kilometers per hour we have the average speed to be 868 kilometers per hour of the aircraft the average speed of the aircraft is 868 kilometers per hour and this brings us to the end of our class on longitude and latitude we have we've talked from our previous videos what the earth is what longitude is what latitude is what meridian is we have the meridian we have the equator and we've also saw different examples on longitude latitudes equators great circles meridian and parallel of latitude and for this we've come to the end of our class on longitude and latitude subscribe to our youtube channel like and comment and i remain praised by name thank you and i'll be seeing you in the next class